We'll get this crucible built, Shepard. And then we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. Oh, Lord, what is this, Naruto? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. effect this is hill we're on board the normandy and we have a little crew maintenance to do let's uh i'm not sure what okay i think this is the one is this where ashley is yes let's see if we can finally talk to her we haven't had a chance to to talk since she rejoined the um the crew Ugh, i still have slime to clean off my armor what a nightmare Dark tunnels, toxic goo, and those damn cockroaches again. I'm not sure about this deal you made. I have trouble trusting that thing. I guess we'll see. I guess we will. She still doesn't talk. I'm wondering if there is more to be said. I don't... We'll, we'll keep following up. At least I tried. Hey. And we're gonna check in on Grunt. See if he's in here. Yes. Here he is, after that savage attack by the Rachni. Let's see what they have to say. So, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. That's it? I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. Anything else? Good to see you, Commander. What about Grunt? Good to see you, Commander. Oh my goodness, okay. Alright, well, I guess he's in good hands. Let's keep going. Let's check in on Liara. We've got some different people here. wonder who that guy is. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five Exonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. Their tech. Okay, did we get. No, no more still... upgrades. But you can see here are As the upgrades well, that Sonax we have picked up. Uh, the the health 5%, shields 5%, etc., sure etc. Et 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 so we did pick up those upgrades. Okay, guys, stop over talking me. Uh oh, we got. Sonex scientist. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. I guess the over talking was for a reason. Liara, anything? A Prothean. A living, breathing okay, Prothean nothing. right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. Yeah. Okay. I heard that there were some Krogan in the cargo bay. There are. These are members from uh, Grunt's uh, squad. Arlac Company, I think they're called. Yeah, I've never come down here and seen that. Look, look. Look at the one sleeping back there. Commander Shepard, Erdnot Dag. I speak for Arlac Company. Your second in command? I am honored to be chosen for this duty. I'm glad you made it. Is that it? It looks like it. What's this? Oh, a, a model ship? Okay. And it looks like we've got a Grawl spike thrower, and I think that is a Claymore shotgun. Okay. Oh. And we have a flamethrower that's shorted out. I guess he's trying to fix it. Okay, so interesting. Interesting stuff. I've never come down here and, and saw the Krogan. Actually, I didn't know they were here. Until I got a message on my private terminal. James, anything? Hey, hey. Krogan and Turian still friends? For now. 
It's just gotta last until this war's over, I guess. Uh, I guess that's it. Catch you I'll later. I'll talk to you later. You bet. And what's this back here in this corner? You don't have to say anything. Oh! Do you, do I want to confiscate it? No. I guess this is a, um... Nice! Uh, some sort of a porno magazine, I take it. And look what we got, people. Look what we got in our adventures. The Hammerhead. The Hammerhead is here in our cargo bay. I tell you, so much excitement. Look at the solitary Krogan. Nice. So, what happened to Cortez? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, there he is, back over there working on the shuttle. Nice. Okay, I think we're done down here. Let's go. I think all the talking is done for now. Uh, trainer, have you got anything else? You know, my lab studied the Ragni. Long distance communication with no time lag, the ability to control workers, and at close range, the Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long range communication without quantum entanglement, maybe when this war is over. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's find our next destination. All right, we are still in orbit of Ataku, or Atuku, however you want to pronounce it. All right, let's go. Need to find the closest. Mass relay. Do I have any? Um, got a few few pennies left. I can buy some fuel. All right. So it looks like we are getting close to probably what would be referred to as Act Three. All right. We have one more objective to speak with the Quarians. Let's go. Alright, the Quarian Envoy ship. Signal confirmed. Uh-oh. A wreckage field. Oh, what's this? Oh, credits. Okay. Alright, so that's everything. Let's talk. Commander Shepard. A pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our home world. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our home world and advanced AI technology. This was a terrible idea. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we are... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. Letting you retreat. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? 
We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Now. Tali Zora Vas Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tali. It's Admiral, good to see you. Already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. It's really good to see her. See, people, this is what I'm talking about. This game is just so incredible, so well written, that I just felt choked up just now as she made her entrance. Because these characters, they have meaning. You, you know, if you've played the game, if you've gotten to know them, I mean, they're almost like real people. Anyhow, I want to help. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. All right, for Paragon. And we've got some updates here. On the, the dreadnought, the quarians. And Tally Zora. Okay, so here's the Dreadnought. Look at this. Alright, let's, before we do any of this, let's see if I can talk to Tally in private in Shepard's quarters. We can. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. It's not your responsibility. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me... If... If I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. And that probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. Ah, uh, we can also invite Trainer. Let's go ahead. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. 
Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> my word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. Yeah, I get it. That's me. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. Hmm. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Okay, I think that might be it. Yes. Okay. Alright, I'm hoping we can do this uh, Geth Dreadnought mission and it not propel us. Well, actually, we need to go to the Citadel. Because I need to take, um, Grunt needs medical attention. So let's head there. We'll come back to the Dreadnought. All right, Alliance Docks. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Uh, let's go to Huerta. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. And we also received a message from Jacob that he wanted to meet us at Huerta as well. I still can't believe we did not get to talk to Thane. So, I don't get what happens. Alright, so... Kirahi, because we saved him, Kirahi died instead of Thane, but... Are we gonna get a message later from his son, or is just he's... just not part of this anymore? Oh well. Here's Jacob. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. Let's ask about progress on the Crucible. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. Oh, Lord, what is this, Naruto? Oh, my goodness. Okay, how is Dr. Cole? It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. Congratulations. 
wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's... nice. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. And how are you? So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. Okay. I should go. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Okay. More reputation. Uh, let's go in here because I think we have a quest to turn in. Look, yes, I'm getting some sort of a indicator. We found some poison. Is this the right place? Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Oh no, this no is chaos, a different mission. Just need to authorize your specter status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? All right. Well, I was on a different mission, but I guess I can look for some. All right, who was talking about the poison? I think it was in this room over here. What was that? What was that? Is that here? Yes. I overheard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station. A poison tailored to Turians. Let me see. Yes, I think this is it. With these schematics, we should be able to come up with an antidote. Thank you. The general might pull through because of this. Okay. Let's just go through every room here and... Because I can't remember what quest I have and don't have. Okay, nothing back here. And yes, I know, you can use a journal. Wait, what's this now? What about the console? We've already done that. Jacob? Man, I'm so upset that I didn't get to talk to Thane. All right, let's uh Please select a destination. Let's go to the the embassies for a moment. Make sure I'm not missing anything else. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Who is this lady? All right, I do need to keep looking for those consoles, too. What is this? Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. Okay. I think this is yet another mission. Why? Wow, we've got some... some strong stutter here. Hang in there, computer. I know you're, it's asking a lot. With all these mods. Checking Bailey's office. Paul, we're here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Bailey? Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze. 
or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. I don't think we got anything You got your else. work cut out for you. You and me both, Shepard. Okay, Adina's office is still locked. Is there anything else? Oh, Officer Delk? You're Intel, right? I found these encryption codes on a Cerberus engineer. I thought they might be helpful. Cerberus ciphers? That's exactly what we've been looking for. Thank you, Commander. Okay, so, you know, we turn in these little quests that we uh, uncovered as we scour the galaxy. Okay, I've got nothing else to authorize. Inner shoot? No. Oh, okay. I thought I, <laughs> I thought that was the exit. <laughs> okay, maybe I just need to slow down a little bit. I guess we need to continue doing this e-crimes thing. Um, let's go to the commons. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Yeah, I barely remember this one where these things might be. But somehow I don't think there's going to be anything in this area. We'll go up to the suites and see. Because we've talked to her already. Because Knowles is over here in this area. Uh-oh, what's this? I got your message, Miranda. Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard. I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. Wow, I didn't get... Alright, I didn't pay attention to the message if she, if she sent one. This is critical. She could have died. Okay, uh, what is it? I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. I trust you. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Stopped? Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. You were cautious. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. 
Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. But you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Thanks. But it's okay. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No. They can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda. This thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Well, it is a good thing we happened by, so we've given Miranda everything she needs so that she will live to see another day. I would have been so upset if I didn't didn't uh, talk to her. All right, so there's nothing else here. You know, when did they send a message? I mean, I guess I must have just skipped it over skipped over it in my private terminal. All right, Knowles. I don't know if there's anything else here for us to see. I don't see any other consoles. Now let's make sure we check these down here. Boy, we got another thing to do. Okay. Wasn't looking forward to this, but it's a good thing we're here. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. Okay. Ma'am. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, blue rose of Ilium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side, a weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But if my last days must be with Krant instead of kindness, still I will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals. Oh. Let my broken bones build a wall around your garden so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. Yeah. I'm gonna go too. So sad. Alright, we've got nothing else. Nothing else. How about here? Here's here's Knowles now. But I don't think there's any consoles in here. Nope. There has Wait, to be some what? way for us to get more medical supplies. Uh oh. I told you already. We have nothing to spare. We're willing to pay. It's not about payment. Between the war on Palavan and the coup attempt here, supplies are short. Tally saved the Citadel a couple of years ago. Watch your tone. You're right. We're all on edge right now, but we don't have enough Metagel for our own needs. We can't help your people right now. I'm sorry. Damn it. Thank you for trying to help. Okay. I thought there was more to this. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. 
Okay, so here we are, and this is the last place that there could possibly be any terminals of look. And here it is. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes, and someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. <laughs> Great. <laughs> well, I'm not going to run through... Uh, unless there's something down here, but we're not running through the Citadel again on this trip. But oh well, we're down to one. All right, folks, we're going to get out of here. And in our next episode, looks like it's probably time for more action. So until then, this is Hill, and I'm out.